Wonderful. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, get started here. Our first question right. will be from Eric Walden, Salt Lake Tribune. Hey, Fabe, good to see you. How you doing? Good, good. How you doing? Good, thank you. So kind of a two-part question for you. Now that you guys are uh, down below 10 games remaining in the regular season, where do you kind of see yourselves at? Where do you feel like you've got you know, a few things that you still want to improve. And uh, part two would be, what is different about this team? It, it, it seems like everyone we've talked to has said, you know, there's a different kind of feel and vibe about this team that gives them, you know, a little more confidence about uh, what you guys are capable of in the postseason. What do you think it is that that has generated that? Um, well, for the first question, um, they went 10 games remaining. Um, I mean, we already know we're in the playoffs, but we're still not taking any game lightly. We still want to go out there and, and play good, play hard, and get a win. But, but we also want to um, just work on things, work on different defensive schemes, work on different offensive schemes, and just try to continue to get better in the areas that we um, need to improve in before the playoffs. Try to get guys in the rhythm, keep guys fresh, in shape, um, healthy, and just continue to get better before we reach the playoffs. So we gonna take these last remaining ten games um, very seriously. I'm not trying to be funny saying that either, but uh, <laughs> just try to take um, advantage of it and just try to work on things that we need to work on. And uh, for the second part, I would just got a group uh, a group of guys who you know enjoy being on the court with each other, and enjoy working hard, enjoy uh, the camaraderie that we have in the locker room, um, especially with the the protoc protocols kind of getting easier, um, you know, we can hang out with each other a lot more and kind of build that chemistry. And um, and I think guys on this team just want to win. We want to see each other do good, want to see each other be successful out there on the court and just try to win, just try to reach that goal that we all have and that's to win the championship. All right, next question, Kristen Kenny, Jazz TV. Hey, babe, um, just what are some of those things that you talk about that you want to get better the areas you want to improve in before the playoffs, in particular. Um, I mean, there, there's a lot of areas. I mean, just little things like you know, team rebounding, um, defensive schemes, um, communicating on the defensive end of the ball, um, getting a lot sharper on the offensive end, especially with Mike and Donovan out. It gives an opportunity for for other guys to kind of play different roles and you know, just get comfortable in different spots, guarding different positions. Um, being in different position offensively, whether it's handling the ball like Joe initiating the offense or you know, being a shooter or being a slasher, whatever you want to call it. Um, I mean, just, just a lot of little things that especially on the, on the defensive end, just communicating, um, being able to team rebound, being able to defend as a team, being able to defend um, one on one too, and just trying to find ways just to get better before the playoffs. All right, Kristen, did you have a follow up to that that you wanted to? Yeah, I was just going to ask too, you know, you guys have been the number one seed for the whole season. And, you know, unfortunately the, the injuries have come at, you know, this time, but do you guys, do you think about that? I mean, or is your mindset shifted more to the health or are you still thinking about that seed? Um, I mean, you want to be smart about it. I mean, we play hard and worked hard for the number one seed and, um, you no know, Phoenix been playing great this year too. Um, so I don't want to put, we don't put too much pressure on it. You know, it will be nice to have the number one seed. But um, I mean, once you get once you reach the playoffs, I mean, none of that stuff matters except for, you know, like the home court advantage. But other than that, you know, everybody start off zero zero. You got to go out there and, you know, be the team four times. So we don't try to put too much pressure on ourselves with that. We just try to focus on what we can control. And that's, you know, just getting better with these last remaining 10 games. And if we finish with the one seed, great. If we finish with the second seed, you know, that's good, too. Just got to um, get ready and prepare for whichever opponent we got coming up. All right. And next we have Andy Larson, Salt Lake Tribune. Dave, when you left for a year and then came back, when, when you left, did you feel like, or when you came back, did you feel like Donovan was a better player than when you had left and, and you know, kind of notice, noticeably so? And if so, in kind of what ways was he a better player? Um, yeah, I noticed he was a better player. Um, one of the things I noticed was on, um, you know, coming off screens, pick and rolls or whatever, he was looking to pass me the ball a little bit more <laughs> this time around than when I was here previously. So I was like, oh, you have gotten better. Um, no, I mean, just the way he could, 
just take over the offense, um, create his own shot, get other teammates involved, um, and kind of be that closer in the fourth quarter or whenever we need a bucket, whether that's, you know, getting to the free throw line or, you know, making a play where you hit a, hit a three or get to the rim and, you know, finish the play or um, even communicating. He's gotten a lot better on the defensive end and just in the locker room and just around guys. I mean, he just became a, a, a much better, not just an offensive player, but a much better player in general as far as every aspect, scoring, passing, um, defending, doing the little small things, whether it's boxing out or, you know, talking on the switches, communicating with everybody on the court, in the locker room, in the huddles, talking, being communicative and getting guys going. So I think overall, he's been a, a much better player. He's improved a lot. Right, next up, Naya Campbell. Um, hey, Faith. So with you guys seeing the Spurs tonight, it's your last kind of like mini series back to back. How do you think that has prepared you for the playoffs, um, having these mini series throughout the season? Um, it's, it's, it's prepared us, prepared us um, in a way that, you know, it's already hard enough to try to beat a team twice. If you, once you play them like, you know, in a three or four day span, you know, that's tough, but it also helps us out because once you play a team once, you kind of scout them and, and see what they do. And once you play them again, it kind of tests that scout that you did the first time. And it forces you to try to improve and come up with different schemes and be creative with stuff. So it, it prepared us well. Um, but like I said, once you get in the playoffs, you got to, you know, be the team four times in a seven game series. So it's, it's going to be tough, but uh, I think we're, we're prepared for it. All right. And last question is a follow up from Eric Weldon. Dave, I wanted to ask you something similar to what Andy asked you, but I wanted to ask you about uh, Rudy. You know, he's a guy who every time we talk to him says that he feels like he's just barely scratching the surface of what he's capable of. Where have you seen him kind of improve most this season? Um, with him, I've seen him improve a lot more. Um, communicating, the same with Don, but just communicating, talking more. Um, I mean, he's gotten better defensively as far as guarding on the perimeter. I know that was a big issue in the past, but being able to guard on the perimeter, um, I mean, we can't expect him to, you know, be able to guard a guard and, and you know, lock him down. I mean, he's a seven-foot-one guy. You know, he's able to contain and, you know, force him to take a tough shot. He's – um even on the offensive end, he's catching the ball a lot better than he did in the past, being strong with the ball and finishing. Um I mean, he, he's gotten a lot better in, in a lot of areas of his game. Um, I mean, as far as like scratching the surface, yeah, he can, he can, he can get better. I'm pretty sure he wants to expand his game out to the, to the perimeter a little bit, being able to shoot jumpers and having post moves and stuff like that. So, um, you know, every day in practice, after practice, before practice, um, before games, he's always out there working on his jump shot, working on his post moves, just trying to get better. And, um, I think, you know, he's still got a, another level he can reach offensively. And if he keep working hard like he's doing now, I think he'll be able to reach it. All right. Thanks so much for your time. We'll see you later. Appreciate it. Thank you.